Welcome to Greg's Money Moment, where you'll discover insider secrets on how to save time, energy, and money when buying, selling, refinancing, renovating, and maintaining your home. This episode is brought to you by Greg Franks from Caliber Funding, the number one mortgage choice for Texas homeowners. Now, here's your money moment. If you've ever struggled to keep up with all those darn bills, including the credit card and car payments, you'll want to tune into this important video. More and more people are getting swallowed up by debt. I'm sure you've read and heard many of the statistics and stories in the news. One of the keys to financial independence is to get rid of bad debt and acquire good debt. Bad debt is debt that makes you poor, such as credit card debt, car loans, etc. This is consumer debt. Good debt is debt you acquire that actually works for you. The best example of good debt is a mortgage loan on a rental property that throws off positive cash flow every month. Good debt is money that you borrow to purchase assets to put money in your pocket. Here are five steps to eliminate bad debt and acquire more good debt. Step one, stop accumulating bad debt. Whatever you purchase via credit cards must be paid off in full at the end of each month. No exceptions. Step 2. Make a list of all your consumer bad debts. This includes each credit card, car loans, and any bad debts you've acquired. Step 3. Refinance your mortgage to consolidate your high interest debts. Chances are you've built up enough equity in your home to pay off your high interest credit cards and consumer loans. As your mortgage advisor, we can help to determine how much equity is available and how much you can save by increasing your mortgage balance to pay off bad debts at lower interest rates. Step 4. Explore the option of using additional equity in your home to increase cash flow. After you consolidate your bad debts, you may still have equity left over to invest in secure, cash flow producing assets. Step 5. Pay yourself first. Put aside at least 10% of your income for investing. Set up an automatic transfer that deposits that money into an investment account every month like clockwork. Once your money goes into the account, never take it out until you're ready to invest it. Now, instead of just paying your creditors, you're paying yourself for only one type of purchase, assets that give you positive cash flow each month. By adopting this as a consistent habit, you'll be out of the rat race faster than you've ever dreamed. Okay, that's all for today. We look forward to hearing your success stories as you apply these financial principles to your life. For more info on how you can use your mortgage to build wealth, call us today. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Greg's Money Moment. If you have any questions or comments, please call Greg today at 817-475-0995.